Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for gathering here in the worship the center and also those who are watching this online live stream. This morning's Mass is being celebrated in memory of Patrick Buckley. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Patrick, the Bishop of Ireland. We continue to follow his good example, to proclaim the good news, the good news to all people. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of, Christ, of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I answer you, on the day of salvation I help you, and I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the de desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out, to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture, on every bare height shall be their pastures. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them besides the spring of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts its people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My God has for forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord, the Lord is, is gracious bright. and merciful. The Lord is faithful to all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord, is merciful. the Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is merciful and merciful. Glory to you, O word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Glory to you, Lord, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, 
they tried the more to kill him because not only did he break the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For what he does, the son will do also. For the father loves the son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than those so that you may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has entered eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear it will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the son of man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming of which we all are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds in the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Patrick, the Bishop of Ireland. And I was asking myself that Bishop Patrick left a legacy for what he did and for what he preached. As a bishop, he was a good example in his life to proclaim the good news and the good news to all people. What does it mean for, our, for all of us that whatever we do, we do to fulfill God's will? And whatever we do, we do because God has entrusted us. Today, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Patrick, let us continue to follow his good example of life to proclaim the good news. To proclaim the good news no matter where we go, even for those people who do not know Jesus, we have sent to go and proclaim the good news. But also we have sent to proclaim the goods to the people around ourselves, the family members and our community members. This time of Lent, we are called to fulfill that mission, to see really that Jesus is not only in us, but also for those people whom he has sent to, to him. Let us do it with love and peace. And let us follow the good example of St. Patrick to make sure that our message always is the message of peace. Our message always is the message to proclaim the good news. And our message always is to proclaim and bring us together as sons and daughters of God. This time, we have to recognize that we are missionary disciples, that we are called to save one another. Let us do it as we celebrate the Feast of St. Patrick. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, through the intercession prayers of St. Patrick, give us courage always 
to ponder and to journey together in our journey of life. And for this, we pray. As you have sent us to continue to proclaim the good news, give us courage always to proclaim the good news, even at the moments of our struggles in life. And for this, we pray. Fear always can separate us with you. Give us courage always so that we can walk through with perseverance and endurance. And for this, we pray. The gospel today reminds us the way your son Jesus committed himself to die for us. Give us courage as you supported him to walk through to fulfill your will. And for this, we pray. We pray for our country and for the leadership so that you may continue always to stay connected with your presence. And for this, we pray. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of Blessed Patrick, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just to do to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Patrick you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we are claim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Patrick Burkery, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the, service of, at the service of command, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, dear. Thank you so much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Blessed is that servant whom his Lord finds awake when he comes and knocks at the gate. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Patrick, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. In a very special way, I would like to welcome John and Mary back. Welcome. And also, I would like to thank you for your prayers and for coming. And also, those who are watching live stream mass, also I want to say thank you for your participation and for your prayers. But let us continue to support one another as we are getting closer to celebrate Easter. But remember, your brothers and sisters are waiting for you to extend your hands with love and peace. Do it as God wishes for all of us to do. Thank you. Just a, just a reminder that the Mass is now a changing this weekend. We're going to be really be on uh, the original Saturday night is the same at 5.30. But the Mass is on Sunday morning on the 5th of November, week 3. First one starting at 8.15. And that's at 10.30, and the last at 12.30. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.